This is the Sales Babble Podcast, episode 510, How to Let the Sale Sell Itself. Welcome to Sales Babble, the podcast that shares selling secrets for non-sellers. And now your host, Pat Helmers. Hello, sales babblers. This is Pat Helmers, and this is the podcast that embraces the effortless action and Taoist style of non-pushy sales. Now, today I want to talk about prospecting. Do you struggle with closing prospects? Are you unsure what to say to advance the sale? You know, you may have no problem demonstrating the product or describing the service, but when it comes to asking for the sale and doing so in an elegant manner... That takes skill. It takes skill not to be pushy. But does it? What if we could get buyers to sell themselves? How can you let the sale sell itself? That's the topic for today. But before we start, make sure and subscribe to the podcast and also follow us on Facebook, X, and myself on LinkedIn. You can find links in the show notes. So with no further ado, let's get to it. And now today's chapter, Let the Sale Sell Itself. Like a flashlight in the dark, the master seller sheds light on solutions. By asking, the buyer reflects. With reflection comes understanding. With understanding comes awareness and the decision to purchase. Do you have the patience to wait until the mud settles and the water is clear? Can you hold still until events have unfolded? When you act without expectation, great things can be accomplished. And now today's story. During the sales call, Chris methodically explained all the features, describing them patiently one by one. After a while, Lee's questions slowed, yet it was unclear where Lee stood. Chris was unsure how to proceed and looked over to catch Pat's eye. Pat looked at Lee and spoke up. If I understand you correctly... This solution will raise the quality of your product by 8% while cutting production time 50%, right? What would you do with those savings? Lee paused, looked upward, and said, Well, I guess we would use the savings to expand the new product line. Lee then talked at length about the possibilities given the increased savings. It was soon clear Lee was ready to buy. Pat closed the deal by saying, I see what you mean. This solution really is a good fit. Do you want to get this started next week? With that said, the deal was closed. (laughs) The post-impressionist painter Paul Cezanne said, quote, Time and reflection change the sight, little by little, till we come to understand. The same is true of prospects. Nurture their decision-making to reflect on the opportunity you provide. If it meets their needs, the buyers sell themselves. This is Wu Wei, effortless action. To download a copy of this week's chapter of the Tao of Sales Babble, You can find it in the show notes at salesbabble.com. And while you're there, you can sign up for our brief weekly newsletter with links to the podcast sent conveniently to your inbox. Next, if you could do me a favor and share this episode with a friend who's also interested in growing their selling skills, please do. Word of mouth is the premier way of growing our sales community. And if you have any questions about sales, don't hesitate to reach out. You can find me on LinkedIn or click the Babble Me link on the website. Sales is one of my favorite topics. I can help you out. With that said, that's all I have for this week. Until next Tuesday, take care and have a highly successful and a profitable selling day.
Thank you for listening to the Sales Babble Podcast. Find us at www.salesbabble.com. This is a production of Abenero Media.